So many of you guys have been following the story of Colin Von Morgan. I've done a lot of videos on this channel talking about all the things that he's been doing and going through in his life. And a lot of people aren't given second chances in life to do, you know, the things that they want to do in life and whatever their dreams are. Bodybuilder Callum Van Moga has avoided a conviction over a road rage clash in Altona North. The 32-year-old, who has millions of followers online, says he's looking forward to heading back to the United States to pursue work. Penelope Leish was in court. Walking from court without a conviction, free to chase his dreams in America. Are you looking forward to going back to the US and starting work again? Yes, I am. Is there anything you'd like to say to the victims? No comment. And this is a guy, like all of us have always said, you know, had it all. He had everything, every opportunity to do things that we all dreamed of. And you look at him and you scratch your head and you wonder, you know, why is this guy taking these chances in life, getting injured, uh, ending up on, uh, on drugs, uh, chasing people down the street with machetes, then going and jumping out of a window trying to kill himself. And we're all looking at him. We're like, you know, what's up with this guy? You know, why is he doing this to him? You know, we all would dream to have the opportunity and the chances that he's had in life. And, you know, I, when I made those videos, originally, I always said, you know, I always felt like this guy, you know, there's something, you know, I always felt like it wasn't going to be a sad story, you know, in the end. I always felt and believed that he's going to find a way to make a comeback again. And, you know, he was in court this morning and in, in Australia, and we all thought he's going to get jail time. He's going to uh, end up having to go to jail. But what ended up happening? She let him go on a $2,500 fine. Colin Von Moger is allowed to leave to go to the United States to start his life back again. And he's given another chance. And I would hope... If he looks at his life now and realizes, and if you guys see in the court, um, in the court appearance, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show it on the screen. He looks different. He looks happier than he did in the past. And like I said, man, I always felt like he's gonna find a way to turn this around, and what a story it would be if he could. And he's given yet another chance to do it. So. I'm hoping now that, you know, he goes back to the United States. I know he has a new girlfriend now. And I'm hoping that he finds a way to turn his life around. Other than that, most importantly, be a father for his kid. Because that, to me, is the most important thing that he could possibly do. Because every kid needs a father. And what other better example can a kid have when he gets older to see the things that his father did, right? But then see how he came back and made good at his life. And I'm hoping for the best for him because you look at this man, you got to start saying, you know, God is watching him and he's saying, you know, it's not his time to go. And Colin, if you're watching this, you got to start thinking about that, man. You got to start thinking inside, man, look how many chances I've gotten in life. It's not my time and I'm here to do great things. And that's what I have to believe in. And I think if Colin believes in himself and looks like back at these things if he's sober now and i don't know i just have a feeling that he is i think he can do this again so let's all hope for the best for him because not everything in life has to be a sad story sometimes there's good endings and let's see what ending happens in the story of colin von moger